Hello, my friends. How you doing? Welcome to another episode of 30 Albums for 30 Years, 1964 through 1994, where I take a look at the 30 most impactful albums per year starting in 1964 and hopefully getting till 1994. I am your host, Jay Sweet. After a few jazz albums, here's one that might be more recognizable to some of you, The Beatles. You've heard of these guys, The Beatles, and the album is Help. Recorded between February 15th through June 17th, 1965. Released on August 6th, 1965 on Parlophone Records. Let's get into it. The Beatles, help. Help is the Beatles' fifth studio album, and many of the tracks were featured in the film of the same name. The record is significant in further developing the group's interest in multi-tracking and layering. It was also the first time that many critics started to recognize the Beatles for what they were, a creative entity that moved far beyond some of the more frivolous pop acts of the day. Help was offered a Grammy nomination for Album of the Year in 1966, which was the first time that a rock band was ever recognized in that category, thus giving further industry legitimacy to rock and roll music. The album that won that year was not the Beatles, it was Frank Sinatra's September of My Years. The album cover shows the Beatles with their arms outstretched, but this image is not random. They were using a communication device known as flag semaphore, which usually involves the holding and positioning of flags to spell out words from a distance. It was a maritime tradition of communicating from ship to ship. By positioning their hands in specific ways, they spelled out the word help. This record has two versions, a North American release and an original UK pressing. The UK version is much stronger because it includes the McCartney masterpiece, Yesterday. And therefore, that is the version we will discuss. Regarding reception, Help reached number one in the US, UK, the Finnish, and Australian markets as well. In the US, the album has gone three times platinum. Help set up the group's next record, Rubber Soul, which is considered the Beatles' first album that was less dedicated to singles, but to the overall concept of a record as a packaged art form. <laughs> 